Hi, my name is Sandy Humphrey. My husband Bill and I have been selling real estate in Ventura County, California for over 25 years. We have a team of seven, including buyer's agents, and a transaction coordinator, and a marketing specialist. We're known as the Humphrey team of Aviar Real Estate. Our son Darren's a part of our team now, and our daughter Tammy and her partner Jim have developed a similar business in the LA Beach areas. Bill and I also have a daughter Kelly, who's a software engineer for the, the rail space systems in the Bay Area. Brian Tracy has been one of my absolute favorite motivational speakers for many, many years. I sought out his books and CDs, bought them as gifts for my team members and my adult children, and I have an entire selection of Brian's tapes and CDs and books in my home. However, Brian's CD goals absolutely changed my life. Several years ago, my husband Bill was diagnosed with progressive kidney failure. Bill began receiving dialysis treatments about three years ago. This absolutely changed our business and our lives. Bill could no longer play the major role in our business that we had all become so accustomed to. And although we were dealing with this devastating problem, we managed to remain one of the top producing real estate teams in the area. And I believe that that positive attitude that we were able to give to our team members and it all came from my study of Brian's books and CDs, and it really, really helped all of us to stay upbeat and successful. We had little hope of Bill's kidney failure ever changing. His blood type is O positive and mine is AB positive. And although all three of our adult children offered to donate a kidney, none of them were a match. Bill had all kinds of tests from, with doctors and hospitals and all different places trying to, to find some hope, but really they gave us very little hope. It was the summer of 2008 that Brian's teachings dramatically changed my life. I was going to Florida for a real estate conference, and Bill and I were spending a week in Boca Raton at my parents' condo. And before my trip, I, I went through all my books and CDs and, and trying to find some, some books to bring with me that I enjoy reading. And, of course, they were all motivational, and most of them were Brian Tracy's. And it was on that trip to Florida I discovered Brian's CD goals. I remember the life-changing afternoon specifically. I was alone in the condo. My husband, Bill, was at his dialysis treatment. I decided that I was going to listen to goals while I was doing some ironing, getting ready for the upcoming seminar. So as I was listening, I was struck by the ease and simplicity of Brian's instructions. So on my way to pick Bill up from, from at the dialysis center later that afternoon, I purchased an inexpensive spiral notebook, as Brian had suggested. I began writing my goals that night before I went to bed, and I wrote them again the following morning, and I continued writing 10 to 15 goals every morning and every evening from that point forward. I'd write about houses that the Humphrey team would sell. I would write about the amount of business the Humphrey team would do. I'd write about my daughter Tammy calling me to tell me wonderful news about a home that she had just gotten approval on, a short sale that she'd been working on forever. And all these things started happening. It was, it was really, really amazing. Traveling, and I even started writing about traveling with my healthy husband. Traveling together was incredibly difficult as we always had to find a dialysis center weeks and weeks ahead of time. And we had a schedule for him to be there five hours a day, three days a week. The dream of traveling with my healthy husband seemed like just that, a dream. To my amazement, almost everything I wrote about started happening. I mean, it was, it was unbelievable, unbelievable. More often than not, 
the things I wrote about happened quickly, and I'd write about homes that we would sell with particular addresses, and those would sell and others wouldn't. My daughter called to say that the short sale that she had been working on for months, it seemed, all of a sudden she got approval after I wrote about it. My team members started asking me to please write about particular homes they needed to sell. What I realized is writing your goals does not necessarily make them happen. It does, however, bring into your life the situations and people that enable you to do what it takes. As I mentioned earlier, learning to write my goals the way Brian suggested has changed my life. My husband Bill and I right now are at Stanford University. Bill received a kidney transplant four weeks ago. On August 3rd, we received an out-of-the-blue phone call from Stanford Hospital saying they'd found a match for him. Bill participated in a two-family exchange in which our 32-year-old daughter, Kelly, the software engineer, donated a kidney to a family member of Bill's donor. This is an extremely new procedure, actually the first one that has been totally completed at Stanford with all four surgeries at Stanford. And Bill is doing wonderful, feeling great. Kelly's doing wonderful. Yes, I will soon be traveling with my healthy husband. And, by the way, the Humphrey team's real estate business has continued to thrive during the four weeks that we've been gone. We sold four homes over the weekend, all over 800000 and, of course, I was writing about that, too. So, you can see that Brian's goal setting techniques have just worked wonderfully for me. And Brian, I will never stop writing my goals. Thank you so much, Brian Tracy.